Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have Plaquemine Police Department. You're going to see very little editing, very little conversations removed. The only one that is going to be removed is the gentleman that walks in and has an issue. You're going to see a great interview with the running chief of police, the assistant chief, Big Steve. Enjoy, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Yeah, I was just wondering, um, what's your policy about the inspection stickers on public vehicles? I'm sorry. Okay. Just going to tell you guys, uh, if you got a drug problem, you can call the helpline at 225 381 9609. Drugs are no good. We had four people die in my family of drug overdose this past year and a half. Two parents, an aunt, and an uncle to a set of children. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Do you want to ask some questions? Oh, you have oh, some questions? I do, yeah. You're okay. the assistant chief of police. Huh? You're the assistant. Yes, ma'am. Um, who's the interim? Uh, Robbie Johnson. Robbie Johnson? Okay. So the question that I had is, um, I know the laws about uh, inspecting vehicles. Uh -huh. And there's a couple of vehicles out to here that don't have the proper equipment. Which one are you talking about? The wall over there? Um, they're right out here. They're parked. Yeah, a couple of them. The further ones out, we don't use those. The further ones out? So you this have a row one, of... Yeah. Right the here one, not this row, the next row. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, those, okay. Those are not used. We're going to be trading them in and stuff. Oh, okay. But, uh, but so let me tell every now and then we do run across a while with that spot inspector stick. Yeah, I... We, 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 did we, I see one of the police vehicles without... I knew that that far one, uh, it, it's... The far one's probably... The far one's probably more than spot. But, uh, but uh, we, do, we do want to ask because I mean, we, we get it both ways as far as like here in Louisiana. Yeah, well, let me tell you what it is. The, the law is that they can be inspected. Right. Yes. The reality of it is a lot of the electronics and stuff we put interfere with the uh, engine lights, and we have problems with them sometimes. I'll oh, be quite okay. honest with you. I'm not taking the car off the road and taking it away from the public. I'll, I'll patrol right. on, a, on a steel topper truck mm -hmm. if I have to. But the cars are safe. Some electronics take a look at one time to get the inspection stickers. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, these, these look pretty good out here, but you know there there is a lot. You know we we of course get it back and forth. You know a bunch of different ways. The law it used to bother me. Right. In, in fact, I recently researched it myself because. Right. We know we got a lot of run like dark tint. You know, uh, know y'all are allowed to run dark tints. I know for right. sure. Right. 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 Yeah. But, you know, we know, you know, but, you know, we, it's one of those simple questions that we ask, you know, because a lot of police departments have opened the name and so yeah, no, that's, and that, I couldn't find that. That actually used to be true years ago. I know it for a fact. I read it. I could not find that when I went to research it again. Right. Uh, as far as I can tell, there should be current inspection. I'm just yes. going to be honest. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, we can patrol the streets. If it's all we got, we use it. I, I mean, that's just the way it is. I'm sorry. It's, it's not to talk about so it. About it. I'm not leaving my, my, my city unprotected. In a situation like that, the the people that are running, the officers that are driving the vehicles that have expired inspection stickers, mm -hmm. do they pull people over for ins expired stickers? I don't know. We really don't. We're not big. We take it right around the end. 
Okay, that's good. That's good. We don't, we don't, we don't. You know, some parishes actually do. Uh, you know how much money we? You know how much? You know how much money we get off of a ticket in this place? Zero. So I mean, we don't do it. If we, you get zero uh, money from. A problem, we address the problems around here. We don't see how many tickets we don't write. We don't go around see how many people we can lock up. Right. You call them a problem. You go into jail. If I can flush that shit and get you to quit, I'm cool. If I got to write a ticket for you to get you to quit, that happens. Yeah. If I got to put you in jail to get you to quit doing the bad stuff. Okay, if I gotta send you to prison. Correct. You know, I like to stop and just fuss imagine. Yeah. So let me ask you another question. Yes, are you running for the new I chief? Am. You are? I Would you like to tell my viewers anything? <laughs> well, all I can tell them is, uh, you know, I've been doing this job for 40 years. I retired from the sheriff's office here. Mm -hmm. uh, most people know me as Big Steve. What you see is what you get. I'm not changing anything at this point. I'm not promising anything I haven't been doing for the last 40 years. If mm -hmm. I thought I was doing it wrong, I would have changed it already. So, I'm not a politician. I'm not a politician. I'm not a politician. I'm not a politician. I have no ink. Dude, you're not going to find anybody closer to the Constitution than Big Steve. Do you know the First Amendment? The First Amendment, freedom of speech. The Second Amendment, my favorite. No, wait. Five elements in the First Amendment. Well, they probably all. Freedom of uh, probably assembly, freedom of speech. Is it freedom of religion under the First Amendment? That's three. Yeah. Who's other two? Freedom to address your government. Uh -huh. And uh, it's, it's freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom to address, and freedom to assemble. Yeah. So in other words, you can assemble to readdress the government right. for their... Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. There's, there's five altogether. You did good, though. A lot yeah, of yeah. people, a lot of them don't well, even I mean, want to get one. I don't think people want to say what you see is what you get. Right. When I right. say that, I mean, I don't do any shoe shoes, so I don't have nothing to hide. Right. If I do something stupid, it's because I made a mistake. I don't have all the answers. And I don't do everything right. I do make it. Right. I mean, I mean, you know, it's 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 it's, it's true though. You know, I, I, officers will tell you, you know, that there's just too many laws to know them all. There's just way too well, many. Absolutely. The lawyers don't know, know them all. There's no one books to go to get them all. But, right. you know. but you know, but whenever it's, uh, uh, you know, when the people don't know all of the laws, you know, it's called <coughs> ignorance of the law, and we can get prosecuted. Well, yeah. and so can we, and we do. You know, I've, I've arrested my friends, police officers. Oh, yeah, I've good. I've arrested some of my very good friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of my very best friends, in fact. Yeah. Uh, you don't write cute little notes, do you? Cute little notes? No, I don't write cute little notes. <laughs> uh, we, we, like to, we like to go around and ask, so you know what I mean? Facts around about me. Most people know about me. Would you like to say what you get? I'm not gonna I, I have. Somebody was just speaking of you, and, really? and yeah, yeah, just now, like maybe, what, 20 minutes ago? Uh, and yeah, appreciate you giving us the time. Uh, like, I don't know if I'm doing it right, I'm doing it the best way I can. Well, I hope and so. I'm doing it for a good home. And if I make a mistake, it's, it's for the right reason, I can tell you that. And you own up to your mistakes and say, hey, I mean, yeah, I did something I wrong. Screwed that up. I'll say that a few times. I don't think I qualify to use <laughs> Not for long. Man, it's long I, don't long long. Long. I don't even know really what that is. Nobody really has immunity to be sued, to not be sued, or prosecuted. Well, it won't be reliable against that specific officer. It would be like if somebody sued you, it would be against the, the, the city. Yeah, but if the officer, it's normally if they file a lawsuit like that, the officer's going to break policy in the city and under back him anyway. So really, the qualified immunity is almost a, a, a hoax. You know, maybe it, you know, maybe it will protect you if you didn't do anything wrong. It's so like under a privilege lawsuit. I, I, I guess right. that. I mean, it, but it should. It should, it should do that. You know, they use it basically to say that you know they didn't they wasn't aware of a certain law that went by like like for instance like you know uh, interfering like if i walk to a, to a traffic stop right. and the cop says hey you're interfering you're talking to the people in the car you know interfering is a as a physical act you know uh houston versus hill says that we are not used freedom of speech to talk to whoever we want they can't be you know can be construed as interfering you know i mean interfering would be me Right, right. If it's a dangerous situation, we're trying to get guns when somebody's mind might be on, and you, and you come in there with battle, right. it's going to be a problem. But then, but then there goes the case law, you know, Castle Rock versus Gonzalez, y'all have no concern for our safety. You know what I mean? We can stand where it's going to be. Right, right. You know, y'all have no concern. That's it. I'm talking about safety issues. Other than that, I don't care. Just, well, I, I got another question for you. Um, when's the last time you had some type of training towards, like, a for a school shooter or something like that? Well, what? School shooting? Have you had last time we had training probably within the last 12 months okay yes, uh, and do you have it like every year or no we don't have it every year it, it hadn't it hadn't changed a lot in the last two or three years mm -hmm. for me it hadn't changed since i was born right. if, if, i mean the new thing the thing back when i was a young cop used to be 
or something like that. You wait for the SWAT team, you know, that's the way things were done. We didn't, they didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. For Big Steve, since I was 18 years old, somebody shooting kids in the school, in here, anywhere, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Now, so I'm glad guys... they finally caught up my old country way of thinking. Yeah. Now, and, and that's basically what you're training is you go in. Everybody have you guys gets had? You go in, you engage. Huh? Have you guys had school shootings here? No. No? Good. Good deal, yeah. Alrighty. Excellent. Nice to meet you. Alright, guys. Thank you. Good luck.